Such video C. Hello and welcome to more Boyfriend Dungeon. It is Maddie along with Dylan. He is at the controls as we continue through Dungeon. Don't forget if you enjoy what you see, don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But hey, I don't have to tell you all how to YouTube, but I would like to remind you to head over to twitch.tv slash video C and follow us over there as well. E, you could have started the floor any time in that spiel. Yeah. I'm far out of rolling now. Yep. The game definitely have a wide area of what the frick is that? And they can make main black holes. And they have a little shadow step dodge. Okay. Yeah, they might be a cool character. We just came to them a little late in the game, unfortunately. I feel like that was my fault. So I feel like they're another good AoE one. I can make a black hole there. Blow a bunch of enemies in. Destroy them. Whatever you say, Kojak. I don't know why he's called you Kojak. Uh, best combo I found so far is YXX. Why? Why Y X X? Oops. I can't even remember what their voice was like to you. I don't know, I freaking Ah, you decorated this place. It's festive. Uh you're welcome. I didn't realize this sort of thing was to your taste. Yes. Suppose we don't know each other that well. I totally did. You see I snuck into the dungeon. They stare into your eyes with unnerving intensity, unblinking. Yes, I suppose this how it has to be. I see. Well then. Indeed. They give you a sharp, knowing nod. Amazing. Ow. Well, black holes don't really seem to do much. Well, they do, but only to things close enough. Suppose. Ow, stop it. Stop it, cannon. Lucky eggs. So I'll take some lucky eggs. Okay, well, that's remax at the bank with one. Uh, next, I'll play some more with pocket. Let's go, pocket. Oh, in the deeps. I like the jam. Okay, I think at the end of the game we end up with Pocket's owner. Yes, obviously. That's that's the that's the that's the that's the, uh, that's the canon ending. You know, we need to meet Pocket's owner. Considering you haven't yet. Yeah. Could be DLC. Yeah. I wonder if they'll make any DLC for this game. I thought you said there was some DLC playing like extra weapons. Well. I'm thinking that they're gonna be an update. They got the like Kickstar. Is it not, goals. Isn't an update and DLC basically the same thing? Uh, technically. DLC is typically typically paid for. Not necessarily though. Well, it usually is. But there's free DLC. Free LC? Free LC? What's the difference from free DLC and update is... I guess you choose to download free DLC? I don't know. Ow. Stop that, lips. 
You know those lips don't lie. Bang. <coughs> Cowboy hat. How many more hats and stuff do we have? In fact, we've gotten so many. Oh, pocket. Mom. Pocket takes a few tentative sniffs of the warm summery night air. Would you like to offer a gift? Oh, I want flowers. Fuck yeah. Pocket gnaws on the leaves and flowers contentedly purring. He yawns and stretches luxuriously, the envy of yoga teachers everywhere. Mid yawn, pocket pauses. Pocket pauses, strangely alert, fur fluffing. What is it? Fur fluffing, wow. You look around and realize you sent something too. Someone is here. A strange man steps out from the shadows, oh, eyeing you both. All right, all right, you found me. Don't attack. I'm Vetus Varnus. I was just taking a break from the shop. But here, I'll give you a special deal. Two fabric for $10, basically half price. Yeah, sure, I have $10. Then we're done here. Stay safe. Vetus Varnus strolls back into the dungeon. Pocket hisses farewell. Okay. Why is that guy around me? Oh god! Jesus, that's a lot of enemies. Don't worry, Pocket is great at this. Pocket is decent at this. Maybe you should drop a scene. Energy, life, life, life. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many. Let's go drop a zine to get some help. I mean, drop a zine to get some help. Help! Oh, help. That's good now. I've taken most of them out. Out. Pretty easy. I had it all on the floor. Okay. Um, oh, a secret area. Oh, there's charms in Oh, God! Eh! Regrets! Easy. Oh, that's a big safe. An angel costume. Okay. No, do you, do you guys mind if I just don't? I just don't feel like trying to do right now. Oh, bam, dodging. Wow, I'm so skillful at this game. It's like I could fight the enemy, but I don't feel like I guess the X is right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, max the pocket. Uh, Sunder, Isaac, and Sawyer. Under Sawyer. We're technically closer to them. Stop it! Pocket is missing, okay. Cool, I'm dying. Fat pan, but a black knuckles in my kitchen. Oh yeah, your cat's a weapon, did you not know that? N no, your cat's a weapon. Ow, freaking... I'm not very good with soil. That's I'm the door. I'm the door and soil and everything. When you fire attack me and you can't move. Halo recipe. Find your keepers. I've never played Halo. Ow. Oh, no, I don't like that. No, sir. I don't like it. There's a perfect legit strategy. Oh, the... No. Stay back. Okay, new plan. I didn't like those books. 
Okay, maybe three of the zines was overkill. You think? <laughs> maybe I didn't need like one. Overkill. Really enough, Larry and Seven Dink send us any text messages. Which usually is what they do. Like, um, oh, hey, text. Let's go on a date. We'll see when we get to the house. Apartment. I'm at the end, don't you? Do we have a video? I can come closer. You're welcome to see. Your true heart. Yeah, there's the point where I wanted seven before. I'm sorry. Why didn't you say something? We could have saved him. Because I forgot. <laughs> Because how many enemies they spawn. Ow. C can you not? Stay back, all of you! Ow! Get back. Now it's spawn the icy boys. Damn icy boys! Attack the heart! You'll never defeat me! That's called skills. I'm gonna beat this dungeon and I have to take that, Fierce. We'll slice and dice you to pieces every time, huh? Being the boss gave us like three, four hundred points of soya. What the? F okay, uh, new plans. Let's go down to the bomb floor. Yeah. I oh. feel a bit woozy and fatigued. A sudden sneeze interrupts your thoughts. You wonder if you're getting sick. Sick of what? I'm going to get bug pencils soon. I don't know, but it summons a bug alloy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all. Oh, wait. We do have a zine we can craft. I want craft. You just added a new zine. Why are you crafting a zine? Well, because I wanted it. Now I'm just gonna craft whatever I can. Okay, that's everything I can craft. Damn, I really want those lucky earrings. I have no idea what all I crafted. Let's see, I crafted this futurist. Yeah. Starry night dress. Nice. True royalty. A uh, halo, which is the same thing as the phoenix cap. Hmm. And then just gifts, I guess. Oh, that's right, like a million messages. Okay, I guess they did give us messages. I didn't see him in the dungeon. Okay, we'll start reading them. Okay. Pocket is missing and I found a pair of brass knuckles in my kitchen. Is that a threat? Did you take my cat hostage? The knuckles are your cat. I don't know what that means. Wait, something's happening. Well, Pocket's back anyway. Sorry for the accusation. I guess he was sleeping somewhere here. And now he wants to go out. I'll watch him. So, there. He's out. And looks like he's set up the museum. Have fun. Okay. I'm gonna talk to everyone else though. What? Well, it's a, the text messages go right into the day. Okay, I'm going to see Pocket right now. I feel like we're taking too long. I feel like we need to finish it. I'm kind of close to the You find Pocket sitting outside the Verona Beach Museum. He's looking at you expectantly. Meow meow. He rolls his eyes into a yawn. 
would like some sneakers? Uh, I don't think a cat likes any of this. No, I don't think so. You decide, yeah, you know that. The door opens suddenly, pocket jumps out of the way, eyes wide with curiosity. Oh, oh if it isn't the okay. Lucy Vidiac, what luck? I wanted to discuss our next date. Dude, I gotta kill your freaking Frankenstein! Pocket is suddenly on full alert, as if someone had stepped on his tail. God, stand back, Vidiac. I know this cat. He is a dangerous wild beast. He's my friend. Eric tries to kick at Pocket, but the cat sprints past them to the museum. They do not allow dirty animals in places of sophistication. Never hurt him. Eric flinches back from your fear. You imagine his tail would be between his legs if he had one. You brush past them into the museum lobby. Hey, bye, Eric. You enter just in time to see Pocket's tail disappear into the prehistoric exhibit. You follow, browsing the dinosaur bones and surreptitiously chucking nooks and crannies. Eventually, you find him gazing in a saber-toothed cat skeleton the size of a panther. Study the skeleton. You take a moment to admire the skeleton's preserved ferocity from tusk to tail. The label reads, Smolodon Fatalis, excavated in Verona Beach, California State Fossil. Pocket releases a small, wheezy sigh at the Smolodon. And this here Walmart? That fence is a white ox, so mobilized last longer. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Pocket's tail swishes with sudden mischief. He pounces on your foot playfully. His whiskers vibrate with excitement as he turns from the Smolodon to run out of the museum. Security guards approach, but he's already out the door and scampering down the street. He browses the rest of the exhibit before heading home. Yo, what happened? Pocket's acting really weird. He's more confident. Well, I wish he'd stop attacking my feet. My slippers are destroyed. Jeez. Okay. Uh, sorry, hide. What the frick? Sorry about my last message. I was in the middle of a test. I shouldn't have had you help me cheat. Even though your answer was right. Really sorry, I won't do it again. What the last sex again? Oh yeah, Emperor Wolfe. In fact, to make up for it, here's a pic of a cute dog I saw at the park. Uh. How are you? <laughs> OMG, hold on! You sniffle and cough, your throat and nose feel raw and sensitive. Sorry I arrived after a few minutes. Oh, you look awful. I mean, uh, you definitely have a summer cold, but check this out. I don't know if you believe in stuff like this, but you must have a guardian angel. Just this morning, I had a sudden urge to make chicken soup. Maybe I'm a telepath. I'm just lucky. Well, maybe you're lucky because gods and telepaths are always looking out for you. I should probably take a class in probability. Oh, well. Look, my crown and glory, chicken soup, a personal medicine for Vidiox, common cold. Made with my secret ingredient, love, NMSG. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know it was for you when I was cooking it, but I'm sure it still tastes good. Can't wait to eat it. Here, let me help. You get comfortable and I'll take care of you. Sawyer pours two servings of soup and we sit down together. The soup is unusual. There's a floral scent and the broth is a gray-blue color. As you dip your spoon, the surface wobbles. There's no way this is normal chicken soup. Bon appetit. I bet you're going to love soup a la Sawyer. So what's in this? Oh, vegetables, herbs, you know the deal, like you taught me. I followed the recipe. Okay. Mostly. Anyway, come on, dig in. Uh, you know, I, I, look, the worst thing that happens is I die. You bring the spoon to your lips. The floral scent is stronger and slightly rotten. In a moment of bravery, you take a sip and swallow. Finish is all set and he's on fire. Me. It tastes fruity yet familiar and the texture is chewy. A warmth spreads from your belly. Watching you, Sawyer's face changes into fear and dismay. You feel as if a soft, golden light has wrapped itself around your shoulders. What's happening? You lose consciousness. Vidiac! Vidiac! You wake up feeling refreshed and energized. Sawyer's by your side. What okay. the? Why is this too? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Can you like skip through text with the all button? Oh my jeez, are you okay? I'm so sorry. How long was I out? About six hours. You talk a lot in your sleep. Did you know that? 
but I found the problem. I use cough syrup, like a lot of it. Why? You realize that's why the soup tastes so familiar. Cough syrup, you feel like gagging. I thought it would just add a fruity flavor and maybe some sweetness, like a blueberry syrup. You wonder how to break it in the blueberry syrup would also not belong in chicken soup. I mean, maybe the syrup helps. You look much better than before, more alive. Maybe soup all the is actually healing potion, even more than bubble tea. It also knocked me out. Hey, that was some seriously healing sleep. I should make more and sell it. So I'll have to stock up more cough syrup, or blueberries while they're in season. Anyway, now that you're awake, I should go study for my last final. But first, I got you a little gift. A thank you for all the cooking lessons. Headphones? Fuck yeah! You don't have to use them, but I thought you might have fun with headphones in the dungeon. I love them. Heh. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry again that I asked you to cheat for me. I just got too worked up. Next time, I'll think of your disapproving face. That'll keep me on track. If you say so. I do. I want you to think of me as well. Because I'm a telepath, remember? Anyway, you be good too. Enjoy the rest of the soup. They give you a quick kiss goodbye. Sawyer waves and close the door softly behind them. Okay. Uh, sorry. Sometimes I feel weird about being a glaive. Like, I'm told that's the best word for what I am. But it sort of just means sword. Glaive sounds cool. Thanks. I can live with it if you like it. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. We'll video see you. Peace out, y'all. Bye. Thank you for watching, now we invite you to do all that good stuff, comment, subscribe, like, just letting you know, not trying to be rude, I don't have to tell you how to YouTube, but please tune in for the next show, we'll be back with more video see before you know, for Maddie and Dylan, etc, at all, we will video see you, peace out y'all.